We've been trying to get Gary to open our synthesis exhibition for a few years because he has, because of his work, he's, um, he has inspired our students greatly. Um, and we'd like to thank you, Gary, for coming today. And we'd like to ask you to open the exhibition and say a few words. So welcome, Gary. Thanks, Penny. Yeah, walking in here tonight was quite mind-blowing, really, because there's just so much creativity across so many different genres and mediums and, um, and a great range of ages. I think it's year seven through to year 12. So, and there's just great work on all levels. And my wife and I, my wife Lara is here with me. And um, yeah, we were kind of really taken back that with the explanations of the work and, and the passion and the thought that's gone into to all the work, not just the timber work, but everything. And, and of course, <clears throat> the wonderful food that's being passed around, which is all creatively made and the music being played by the musicians, which is, it's just a sea of creativity. So that's something the school should be very proud of. It's also a credit to the teachers that, that pull all this together. So your students should be really appreciative. And I know as, as time goes on, we just see these things happen and we, we take them for granted. But I can assure you in my day, you know, that's coming from an old man, um, we never got the opportunity to make things like this. You know, we, we'd make little, we'd, in woodwork, we'd make little joints and mostly things that were pretty much, you know, useless. <laughs> you guys are creating real art and, and real objects that you can treasure, so. So that's something you should all be proud of. <clears throat> so Penny wanted me to talk a bit about uh, what we do, and, and I won't go on too much about that, because <clears throat> you can always jump online and have a look. But um, I guess I'm a woodworker, and, and uh, I guess I'm a carpenter by trade, and, and decided to start making furniture, because I got inspired when I walked into a gallery some 30, 32 or three years ago and saw some work and thought, mm, wow, that looks like much more fun than building houses. I'm going to have a go at that. Uh, and that was making furniture. Uh, and through those 30 years, of course, I started out making very rudimentary things, but even right in the beginning, always inspired by nature. And I mean, at the time, I really didn't know any other furniture makers except the two men that inspired me. And, and um, so I used to do work and people would say, oh, that's Rennie McIntosh inspired or and I'd go, oh, who's he, you know? But obviously I'd seen his work somewhere, absorbed it, and it came back out in my work, and I think that's what happened. So we get inspired by other people's work, which is what I've done. And George Nakashima is a great inspiration of mine, and I can see that around the room tonight. There's some, some great uh, Nakashima-inspired pieces. Um, so yeah, it's, it's great to see that. And, and the other thing, of course, being a surfer and, and a lover of nature, um, you know, I get that great inspiration of just walking through a forest or or just rocks, rock forms, anything, animals, flowers, plants. Uh, there's so much to be inspired by out there on this you know, amazing planet we live on. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, that's where I get my inspiration and I try and bring it through the work. And um, you know, I work with the spirit of the timber. Certainly in the last five years, I've been getting amazing pieces of timber, which we're lucky enough to come across or salvage from the forest floor. And, and um, now I try to look for the spirit and find Sometimes a bit of timber might sit in my workshop for two years before I'll touch it because I don't want to, you know, uh, well, not dishonour it, but, but I guess waste it by making the wrong thing out of it. So I try and look at it and work with it and love it. And I can see looking around the room tonight that your students are already doing that. Um, uh, Greg was explaining that, you know, it is something that's, that they talk about and think about. And, and it's really great to see it coming out in the work. And, uh, it's great to see girls and boys producing beautiful things with wood because, again, back in my day, girls did, you know, home economics and boys did woodwork. But now it's everybody's doing everything and I just think that's, that's really exciting to see that happening as well. Um, so I don't know what else I really can <coughs> talk about except to say that, uh, it, as again, it's a, an honour and a pleasure to, uh, to be asked to open this wonderful exhibition. So uh, I guess I declare the... 2018 synthesis exhibition open. Thank you.